everybody and welcome to this episode of Infantry Outdoors. I hope wherever you are around the world, you're having an amazing day and a happy new year and start to the 2020 year. I'm DJ Infantry, your favorite disabled DJ, back at it again. Welcome to the program everybody. Today we're going to be talking about the kickoff, the start to the 2020 King of the Glades bass fishing tournament season. As many of you know, last year I competed in the series uh, for six months. Out of 107 boats, we placed 53rd in overall standings for the season. Now coming into this season, I have a new teammate, I have a new strategy, and I have a year underneath my belt. But before we get started, let's acknowledge those folks that got us here. Kicking it off is our sponsors for the 2020 series, DMNL Automotive, service with integrity. If you guys are looking to get your vehicles fixed here in the local Fort Lauderdale area, give DMNL Automotive a call and let that family own and operate a business take care of your vehicle the way they've been taking care of mine for over 20 years. Also, we can't forget our neighborhood friendly U-Haul dealers at DMNL Automotive. If you're looking to move, groove, pull your boat, do what you gotta do, U-Haul's got it and DMNL gets you hooked up. Check them out today, they're the series sponsors. Also our sponsors for the program, we can't forget them, right? Lady B with the National Motor Club. Get your motor club coverage today, guys. Links are all down below. Realtimebait.com, customizable jigs, soft plastics, lures, and so much more. Gonna be throwing them throughout this tournament series. Make sure you pick up yours today. Use promo code RTB-TRIAL and you'll save 10% off your first order. Silver Connections Group, if you're looking to boost your social media standings, your Google rankings, and all that good sort of stuff we need on the internet, give Silver Connections Group a call, links down below, and also 111ads.com. If you wanna get your business in front of the audience you are looking for, let 111ads take care of that. Get your business in everybody's mobile device with 111ads.com. So here we are, guys, an impromptu way of, of starting the program. Um, but nonetheless, we're here. It's the start of the 2020 King of the Glade series. Myself and my new partner, Danny, from DMNL Automotive, teamed up and we're gonna go hit it this year, starting off in Clewiston, like we did last year. And guess what, guys? It doesn't get any better. Started it off with 50 degree weathers and 15 to 20 mile an hour winds. Sound familiar? Sounds like last year, doesn't it? But, well, this year has a little bit of a twist to it. The way we're gonna do today's show is gonna be a little bit different, guys. As you can tell, we are back at home. I'm not on the lake. I'm not early in the morning. Uh, we had a little hiccup in filming over the weekend. For those that don't follow me on Instagram, on Facebook, on any of the social media platforms, uh, while filming the tournament Sunday, we had a little accident where, we don't even call it an accident, we don't know what happened, but my $800 Canon T6i camera disappeared. It's not on this boat, wasn't on the boat. I had filmed some great stuff in the morning of us launching the boat before the sun came up. Uh, keep in mind that, you know, as we store line this, I'm gonna start the day off at 5 a.m. when we got to the boat ramp. And, uh, you know, I was able to get some great B-roll of all of the different bass boats, all of the different anglers, the signing in, all of that stuff leading up to taking the boat out, launch the boat, some great shots of all of the anglers and all of the tournament people leaving. Um, we got some great shots of the lock, great shots of the sunrise as we were driving. Get all the way down to our spot, we start fishing. Teammate, you know, hooks into a fish. I go to turn around to film it. No camera. Have no idea where it went, you know. Um, and for those of you that know, as a creator, your camera is one of your most important tools, one of your most vital tools, and my tool was overboard. So. I'm gonna to apologize to my sponsors, to you guys, the viewers, that the footage you're gonna to see today for this video isn't going to be up to par. Uh, but I did wanna make a video to let you guys know what happened, let you guys know the standings and how the tournament started off for us. Um, I mean, it was a great trip. We went up to Lake Okeechobee. We uh, stayed at Uncle Joe's campground as we did last year. Big shout out to Uncle Joe's campground. Um, everything was in place, man. We geared up, we got everything ready Saturday night for Sunday morning. Went out on the water. Like I said, guys, I'd filmed some beautiful shots in the morning before the sun came up. Um, I'll put some pictures up here. And I guess basically what I'll do is I'll just tell you guys the story. When we launched the boat, there was 82 boats in our field. Um, we all left, and of course, we are able to leave at first safe light. So for us, that was 6.39 a.m. We were able to leave. Sunrise was at 6.09 a.m. Um, Danny and I blasted down. We opted to go south. Uh, I let Danny 
being the new angler on the boat, picked a direction. It's either north or south for us or straight out to the lake. We opted to go south down to South Bay, so we blew down to there. Um, got some great shots. I mean, of the water, the sunrise, just everything. And uh, we get down to the spot. As you guys will see here, started fishing and uh, you know started working trying to find a pattern it was cold guys it was 50 degrees winds were howling winds were blowing um, you know there was white caps on the lake so we opted to stay in the rim canal continued fishing continued fishing checked out some spots looked at the Lawrence unit made sure that uh, you know we were marking what we were marking and just trying to figure things out I have not figured this place out yet now as the day progresses several casts in my man Danny hooks a fish yeah, buddy. Put it all the way to the stick. There you go. What do you got? Over 12? 16. 16. Let's weigh him and find out what he weighs. Damn. 1.71. Yeah, 1.71. Awesome, dude. Awesome, awesome. Skunks off the boat, and it's pretty much at this point where I turn to get my camera to film him, and there's no camera. First fish. All right, so we're going to do a little video. First. Um, where did my big camera go? Um, you have it in the front? No. I thought I had it up here. Oh, shit. It didn't fall off. Uh, I hope not. No way, that camera's too much. Oh, shit. Where the fuck is my camera? How about right there? Where? Is that right? No? That's my GoPro. That's your GoPro. Oh, f you have got to be kidding me. It it's gone. It didn't fall off. It ain't here. It's nowhere on this boat. It's got to be somewhere on this boat because you had it here. And where did you lay it at? Right in here where I always lay it. Not when we were moving, right? Oh my god. Just look, just look. It's gotta be somewhere. <sighs> Nothing underneath the seat, maybe? No, I had it on the dashboard, dude. Like, I'm about to cry, you don't even understand. Um, you know, my heart went into my throat. I almost wanted to cry. Because, guys, to be honest with you, I, I saved for a year for that camera and the, the road mic that I had on it. Being legally blind, I live on a fixed income, so you can imagine just making YouTube videos really does come out of my pocket. Um, in order to buy the gear, in order to fish the tournaments, uh, and losing my job this last October really does tighten the belt on things around here. So losing an $800 Canon T6i camera is something I never in my life would have imagined happening and um, I'm not going to be able to replace it. So for you guys watching, I've set up a GoFundMe account. Uh, I'll leave the link down below and I'll put it across the screen right here if you guys would like to help. I know some of my fellow creators uh, here on YouTube have mentioned that they would chip in and they would help out to try to get back another camera because as you guys know, they're not, they're not cheap. Um, and at this time, right now I'm filming on a cell phone. I'm back to a cell phone and a GoPro, how I started three years ago. But I wanted to present this to you guys and at least show you some of the footage that we did um, and explain to you why I'm unable to give you the first round of competition the way I wanted to present it to you uh, was because I lost the camera. So if you guys would like to help out, we also have our PayPal account that you can send donations to. It's paypal.me forward slash infantry outdoors. I'll link it here. I'll put it across the screen. Um, if anybody wants to help out, we would really appreciate it. You know, like I said, I'm handicapped on fixed income. so. I don't have a whole nother year to save. I would like to keep things going. We're growing, we're getting bigger by the day, and I, I can't thank you guys enough. And for those that do show your support and help, myself and my family, thank you from the bottom of our hearts because this is a, a stomach-wrenching 
feeling, you know, when you turn and your your life is gone. Thank God I didn't have any footage on there other than that day, um, or it could have been a lot worse. So. Big shout outs to you guys. Thank you so much for the idea of setting up the GoFundMe. And for those that do make donations, thank you so much. We really do appreciate it. If you guys would like to write to us, you can reach us at infantryoutdoors at yahoo.com. Now let's get back into the tournament story. Again, I don't have a lot of footage for you guys. So basically the way the day went down was it was cold. It was wind was ripping, just like you can probably hear it here now. Um, I'm filming this in the same week that we had the tournament. Uh, Danny hooked into one fish put it on the scales for 1.71 pounds, put him in the box, and the day was pretty much a grind at that point. Um, we went down a canal, I hooked into one using a watermelon fluke, one of my go-to baits, um, got it next to the boat, and he shook the hook. So it was one of those kind of days where you can imagine after losing my camera, my brain really wasn't on filming. I had to get back into bass fishing mode. And I stayed that way most of the day. And Danny and I grinded out the entire day. We ended up on the lake running some grass flats. We ran the rim canal. We went down some of the channels. But it, it just was not happening. You know, the, the cold weather really took a toll. So this takes us all the way into weigh-in. We got back to weigh-in in plenty of time. Um, this again being my partner Danny's very first tournament, I wanted him to try to experience as many of the ins and the outs of the process and as, as the weigh-in as I could. So we took our one fish up to weigh in, I let him do all of that, uh, turned our chip in, we weighed in, it weighed in 1.66 pounds on the official scales, which puts us in 53rd position for the tournament and 53rd in our tournament standings for the season so far. Not bad considering we beat out plenty of other boats out of 82 in our field 27 boats blanked in this one guys 27 boats blank so when I tell you it's a hard fishery on Okeechobee and it was cold you can imagine that 27 other boaters didn't even turn in a fish we at least turned in one for 1.66 pounds which puts us 53rd to start off the season and hey, that puts smiles on my face guys because again this year we're going for a top position come hell or high water I'm gonna do my best to do that for my sponsors, for you guys at home. Last year, remember, we did 53rd out of the season. Great, great, great way to start a, a tournament in general because last year, remember, was my first year. So, I have a little bit of knowledge under my belt. I have a little bit of experience under my belt of where I'm going and what to do. Uh, so for all of those last year that said, hey, you shouldn't even give it a try. You can't see well enough. Uh, you're gonna fall on your ass that, that you know, these tournament guys are gonna put a whooping on you good let them all i did is learn and that's what you got to take from this guys is what learning experiences from each tournament each fishing trip can you apply to the next one and obviously the biggest one i learned is put my camera away in a safer place from now on it's going to be put in a bag it won't be left out um, i do have to take it out obviously to film that's just part of it big shout out to my good friend a and j outdoors you warned me brother but you know something if you don't bring your gear out and you don't use your gear you can't get the shots that's all i'm really going to say um i'm really heartbroken that i lost my camera i love that t6i video quality i was getting so much better and, and just everything was coming together but it's a really great camera and again if you guys want to help us recoup our loss um, again i'll put the gofundme right here across the screen and i'll link it at the very top of the description so you guys can click on that go to our gofundme page and if you want to try to help me get back a camera i would really 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 appreciate it because as it sits right now it, like the old mafia guy says it's swimming with the fishes all right it's an okeechobee it's done it's gone but guys i want to thank you for watching thank you for taking the time to watch this video i apologize to everyone my sponsors and you guys for not having the footage i should have for this first tournament round um, i did provide you with some tournament footage here that i could give you that i did have with what cameras we ran and uh, I, February 2nd will be much better, I promise you. We'll be here in uh, Western Florida, so if anybody wants to come out for the weigh-in, weigh-in is between three and four o'clock. It'll be at Holiday Park, located in Western Florida. That's Everglades Holiday Park. If you wanna come out and do the meet and greet at the weigh-in, I always stay around for the raffle. I stay around for all the stuff, so if you wanna come up, you wanna be on the show, you're more than welcome. That's February 2nd. We'll be at Everglades Holiday Park here in Western Florida. Um, 
But that's all I really have for you guys. Thanks to the sponsors. Thanks to DMNL Automotive. Thanks to U-Haul. Thanks to Lady B, Real Time Bait, Silver Connections Group, and 111ads.com for making all of this possible. And don't forget, guys, you can become a sponsor too. You can write to us at infantryoutdoors at yahoo.com. Get a hold of us that way. Or you can send donations. PayPal, paypal.me forward slash infantry outdoors. And if you want to send donations for the camera, we're more than happy to take them there as well. All donations will be noted in our episodes. So if you've donated, your name will pop up in our videos. I promise you that we're going to recognize you because without you guys, I wouldn't be here in 2020 doing this, doing what I love, being able to tournament fish. I mean, imagine a, a legally blind guy out there on the competitive tournament field doing what I'm doing as best as I can. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's what I hope inspires you guys is watching me do this stuff. At the end of the day, take it away of if this blind guy can do it, so can I. And that's what I want you guys to do. So also you can become a Patreon guys if you want to help out the show, become a, a Patreon member. You'll get added benefits like early access to videos. Uh, we're working on some merchandise this year. We're working on infantryoutdoors.com. Will be coming out soon thanks to Silver Connections Group. So a lot of things coming up this year for you guys to look forward to. Don't forget our product reviews that drop every Wednesday. And of course, these episodes that come out every Friday. Guys, that's all I got for you. I again apologize for the, the lack of footage, but we're going to get it next time. February 2nd, join us. King of the Glades Series 2020 at Western Florida. Everglades Holiday Park coming out. Meet and greet myself and my new partner, Danny, who you'll see here coming up really soon. So, guys, that's all I got for you now. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that this and all of my adventures inspires you to get outdoors. And if you help us out with this camera, guys, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate it. My family thanks you, and uh, what an awesome community YouTube is, right? So, guys, I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a great day wherever you are around the world. Keep fishing, keep getting outdoors, and have a great day. We'll see you next time.